let's talk kids wanting a YouTube channel. Now when I say kids, this could be all different ages, but for the example I'm going to use, this is a real example that was in my class and you know, a lot of parents go through this, so hopefully it can be helpful for you guys. So say that you have a, I don't know, 10 year old who wants to have a YouTube channel, make bracelets with their friends and get a bunch of followers and likes. What can you do as a parent? Well, remember, we're parenting for the long game. We want to cultivate the skills. However, we also want to keep the kid safe. So as a technology coach, a technology instructor, the best advice I can give is, um, first of all, number one, anyone under the age of 13 should not have a YouTube channel. That's their policy. Um, some parents do make a channel for their kids anyways using their own Google account. I don't advise that though. But what you can do is you can um, uh, upload videos onto YouTube, but you can make them private, okay? That is the key. So they can still make videos and they can still learn editing, have so much fun, record themselves making bracelets. But however, when you upload the video, you're going to set the visibility to private. This is, this means the video can only be seen to people who are invited, have a Google account. Um, so that could be like, I don't know, your family and friends. It's up to 50 people. This is a really safe way for kids to still have um, the ability to cultivate their talents, their gifts, be interested in it. However, it does not have them put out public videos for all to see. Um, having that outside validation of likes and comments um, can be very addicting, even for some adults. And your net, you know, your self worth can be tied to that. But uh, we don't want to do that. We want to talk more about their aspirations, dreams. What do they like about the process of um, YouTube? Do they like storyboarding? Do they like the filming part? Do they like the editing part? And all this can be done for free. You don't even have to go buy any equipment either. Um, there's so many free editing tools out there that they can look at. Um, you can help them as a parent and get involved, but still keep them safe. So what you would do then is you could create a YouTube channel with the parents of Google, however, only um, upload, or you could also create their own channel because you have the parents permission too, if you want, would like to do that. Then when you upload the videos, you can select private for the visibility and then only invite people that you know to view those channels. Okay. This is going to be key. Also, if you do set them up with their own YouTube um, channel and when they become 18, then legally that can be their channel as well. It can evolve. You can remove videos. You can delete previous videos. It can become part of their personal brand if they want. Um, usually it's more like a hobby. Kids are just curious, but I would steer, steer away from having a public channel. Um, that's yeah, just to keep them safe away from uh, predatory behavior um, and not being able to monitor all of the comments. So choose this option right here for private. Um, that way you know who is viewing the videos and kids can have a lot of fun with this. This can be great um, and definitely maybe more, you know, later on after they're 18 and older, uh, legal adults into a career as a content creator. There's also a lot of great job openings for con professional content creators as well into the six figures. So just something to think about, but an option for parents. Um, if you want to learn more, check out our online training class for um, help. My kid wants to be a YouTuber. We have so much guidance in there and just helpful tips for you to navigate this tough topic um, so you can be successful and help set up those healthy technology habits that your kid will use for life. So good luck and um, comment below if this was helpful or not, or if you have more questions, we'd love to help you guys out. All right. Thanks everybody.